for tuning in to another super successful season of the Kanye Boys podcast, man. Some nice. great guests. We're having a great year, you hear me? Yeah. So make sure you follow and subscribe. Hit that like button. Share this with your peoples. Ding, ding. Don't cheat yourself. Treat yourself. Let the people laugh with you. But I get tired of this. I look at the end of the week, and the views are low. I mean, 10,000 is low to me. 20,000 is low to me. So I need you guys to like, share, follow, and subscribe. We need 200 subscribers. Right now, we need two hundred thousand. If you're in the sound of my voice, go click the subscribe button. Kayak Boys Podcast, Fredo Davis, Ron and Don. Ron, tell them your name. I'm about I am about sick of you. Ron, tell them your name. My name is Ron and Don. And uh, see, I couldn't have said it no better. I am Ron and Don, one half of the Kayak Boys, and we talk the best ish. You know it. And we today, talking that shit today. And today we're gonna get to the nitty gritty, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We got a special guest in the house. Got that on comedian extraordinaire. Got them truck driver extraordinaire. Yes. A father yeah. extraordinaire. Yes. Uh, 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 a comedy brother who puts rules over brother's head. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Welcome brothers into the family. He's a driver for the comedians. And sometimes right. if you ever fell off and you you know you know to make a long story short. I, I don't I don't bring that weight though. Don't don't come me. I'll tell y'all about. Transport that weight. I don't do that. No, no, no. Don't be transport. No, no, no. Don't show. Don't, 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 don't do that. Anybody transport weight no more? They email it. They better. Email. <laughs> so UPS. You better Amazon Prime that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, without no further ado, you get a message say, comedians, come come. Otis, old dog, I'm, kick ass. Hey, what's up, fellas? I'm yeah, so old dog. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hey I'm so hey, thrilled to finally be here. Yeah, that's already musty, right? Hey, hey. It's already musty. Yeah, man. You stupid. I'm so happy to be here, though, man. See you guys, hey, man. man. Y'all doing y'all thing. Hey, don't let this be your last time. It, it better not. It better not. I've been you know, on your I'm, podcast, man. What's the name of your podcast? You know, you guys are the worst. And, and I gave you a nice bottle of... What, what did I have for you, uh, Fredo? It was something. You had whatever I was drinking. I appreciate you, too. It was Remy or some shit that I had. This first thing in the morning, we can't be drinking over here. Then going to start the rest of our day. Okay. Hey, in the words of the deadbeat daddies, ain't nobody tell me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are the worst. I gotta brother. get you on there, Ron. Yeah. And he's doing it better. He said Friday, Friday ten. Yeah. At ten at night. Yeah, at yeah. Battery. Oh, oh, battery. Yeah, yeah, battery. Yeah, we slide over That's to right. Monticello's for some of the finest cigars and yes. finest of the finest things in life. Yeah. Yeah. Trying, he's, he's trying to pull, trying to pressure me to smoke cigars and shit. No, no, it ain't for everybody. That's it's a cool. lifestyle. I hate no, them. I hate them no, until I hated them too. They tried to the cool. I tasted like that. I tasted the right one. Don't they say? No, no, I, I, I smoked the tobacco, the chocolate, uh, and the um, upset. Uh, what was different from that? Really what was different from that than the others you had that were horrible? I never smoked black and miles. Why well, ain't I talking about black and miles? I'm talking about cigars. Like, yeah, ain't a cigar like no, no, 20 black and miles? It's mild. It's mild. I smoked a mild joint. Yeah. Oh, black and miles. Hey, look, man. My, so give me a mild mile. I, I, I ain't going to knock what you do. <laughs> I know, you, you can't because it's a lifestyle. I, there. I chill and I, I have conversations with some of the finest of the finest of elite people of Atlanta. Smoking some of the finest of the finest cigars. You and mean? they stink hey. too. All of them. <laughs> oh, hey, and women hate it. It be all in their hair. I like to see women smoking cigars though. Hey, but if they be, listen, anything men do, women gonna, women start, gonna start doing it. Yeah, because they can do it better. Yeah. They got that masculine energy, though. They got that masculine no. energy. They, they can't do it better, man. Hey, they man, they work. can have it. It's cigar, man. <laughs> man, ain't try man I ain't trying to build my job. I'm going to my chick. I'm on my, I'm on my chick breath to smell like goddamn right. sweet nothing. Yeah, I don't know. Rocket Patel? Yeah. Let's your breath smell like Rocket yeah. Patel, bitch. <laughs> you are hilarious, man. What's wrong with you? You smell like a Hey, you really are the worst. You earned your name on your body. smell like a power plant. Get out my goddamn face. Bitch, go kiss on my neck with that stink ass. I don't know, right? I had a brother with bitch who used to smoke cigarettes back in the day. So, old dog. Couldn't do it. Down to the nitty gritty. I remember. How many years in comedy now? It's going to be. Actually. You were doing like a year before I started, so. I don't even know how long September I've been 1999, Labor Day. I started in 97, yeah. boy. Yeah, it was two years. 99, Labor Day. Did I start in 97? Yeah. It was 97, 98. It was beginning or the end. The first time I met Tyler Craig, so. 
and Nas set me up and uh, and love. Those are good night though. Oh, you you're part of the boot era. The two boot in one night. And, oh, you twice. went back. You thought you had did good enough to go back. Yeah, no, I, the, the and set me up. Like, y'all, you have no love. Come on back up, dog. Welcome to the comedy game, brother. Cause it was hard, though. You ain't been through shit until you been booed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that night after you got booed, did, did you choose to hang yourself or shoot, blow your brains out or slit your wrist with a razor blade? What was your choice of coping with getting booed? Drowning in a tub was the first thought. Um, but your water was off, so that saved your life. Go ahead with your next Amen. One. Hallelujah. But I think... Uh, it was a bad, but the thing was the wall. Like, you know, you got booed. All the ones got booze on this wall was like a wall of shame. But it was actually a real wall of motherfuckers on there who just got booed, and nobody wanted to talk to your ass. Like it's like it's like you had COVID in 1999. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys took that abuse, man. Hey. Talk about the stitching court. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, see, we just talking it's like. It's like, it's like, don't get me wrong, yeah, you know, you got your ass beat with a stitch of cord. Yeah, I'm tough, but nigga, that shit ain't supposed to be like that. No. No, <laughs> you just got tired of whooping my ass with house shoes yeah, and man. brooms and belts. Now, that was a metaphor, but, you know. And I, then I ain't had no, enough stepfather to get whooped with a real belt, so. Now, right. See, see, we, we, was the, we was talking about the um, the situation where people don't like the fact that T.I. is doing comedy. Right. And we was in full support Welcome of Welcome to the comedy game, But we was in full support of him, and what I was saying was you can't pave the way and expect somebody else to have the same road that you Right. Have. Everybody so said that they, they, Yeah. So, they, they want the nigga, they want him to go, oh, he ain't yeah, going to get that. You're the struggle. Like, like so, nigga? Like, the hell, why do you want to see another person struggle? Look at our camp. Duval didn't have to struggle on. That nigga took off. Quick. Yeah. 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 So you it's like everybody control. got their own path. But niggas go hate. You niggas go hate. Honest. That's one yeah, thing. Like, I don't care if you that close to the threshold, nigga going to do something and throw a monkey wrench in there. But he can't stop you. So you stay focused on your goal at hand. Nobody can stop your determination and your drive. Yeah, because what I be even the worst comedian get a deal. Yeah, yeah. When I be hearing people say, they be like, "Yeah, that motherfucker, I'm glad that motherfucker got got got, got booed. I'm glad he got humble." I'm like, hey, you what? not you not finna humble Ti? Hell no. That nigga is never never gonna. He get booed every talking. Night. He don't. That was care. a misunderstanding. I wouldn't even call care. that a boo. And this head, that was a misunderstanding. But he don't care. But yeah. T.I., listen, they could have threw shit at T.I. that night. He would still been. And he came shit. back to Atlanta. And damn, they got a standing up. Yeah. And he hosted up there. His work didn't stop. Yeah, it did. Look, it's not gonna stop because he already got the business aspect of it already. That's like the hardest part. Ti is talented regardless, and he's resilient. Yeah. Okay, the nigga ain't gonna stop. That's a okay? big word. So, Siri, what does resilient mean? Resilient means that ain't shit stopping you. Like you <laughs> gonna keep going. It don't give a fuck he's about relentless. Life. Relentless, resilient, and, and he gonna read. And he, he gonna, gonna write, learn. He gonna, he gonna, gonna learn. That's around. what makes you a strong comedian. Yeah. You gotta be until resilient. you learn that. And, and right. It's too many hours in the day for you not to be building yourself or rehearsing your jokes to get up on stage and. Fucking fart. But listen, right. I didn't. I didn't like how. I didn't like how they was trying to act like, oh, you gotta get initiated in this club or whatever like that. Man, stop. It's that it. hazing shit. Well, he stop in there. He in there. I'm <laughs> like, stop it. It's a lot of. You passed the hazing phase. No, it, listen. Ain't no really no hazing phase. Yo, goddamn no, lie. No, it's comedians that treat comedians like shit. Not oh, yeah. for Ti. Ain't gonna be no. But they can't treat. What you gonna say to him? What you gonna say to him? Oh, you you just gonna get out your big old Bentley and come do jokes, huh? Yeah. What you gonna say to him? You're your million out of house, but they not gonna haze him in his face. It ain't gonna happen. The thing is, he's I, for me. He's an entertainer, right? The he's social media will hate him. He's an entertainer, so he's already been through the hate. He already been through the grind. But for that nigga ain't never really did bad that I seen with his rap career. I mean, he had to grind. He didn't do bad. He grind, but I ain't never seen him do bad. He was always right. I mean, I mean, he's always himself on his deals and his business handling. Oh yeah, his business, yeah, from the from the get. So rock on, Ti. Keep winning in this kind of game. Enough room for you, man. And make yeah. sure you book me, nigga. Just let me go on the show. Nah, no, he right. can't book you. He already got his team of comedians. He got. Well, I mean, he can put shit. you in the movies and all the well, sitcoms. Put me in movies. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Let me get yeah. something, guys. You know, shout out to Ruben Carr and Clay over there. Clay keep that talent jumping over there. Keep it high. He keep it spicy over there. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So. But like you know, uh, with you old dog, you had took a break from comedy for a while. Yeah, I, I ain't gonna lie. You know the COVID, just pre-COVID. Like, mm-hmm. and the funny thing was, I had you know, you know, going through the marital divorce shit. How long was you married? Twelve years, man. Why? But go ahead. Yeah, good question. <laughs> uh, you know, just <laughs> okay, I guess for me the reason why is I've always wanted to have a family, okay. no kids, Sounds be a family good. man. You know, I'm following you. You know, but you know, shit didn't work out. Yeah. It, it, shit happens, man. Shit happens, though. Like, what happened? You want to elaborate? Well, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm like, put, put it to you like this. I would rather have be single than a motherfucker or to have peace. I'd rather be have, have give me peace or single. I take single every fucking day. I need yeah. peace in my life. Yeah. If you can't get no peace, 
then fuck it, I can't deal with it. And yeah, you shouldn't have to work your ass yeah. off and come home to an argument. No. Yeah, put the toxic shit out your life, you know. Yeah. I'm not, you know what I'm saying, I gotta have peace, man. You know, and I any mean, fellas out there, you know, get I'm, peace first. You know, yeah, get peace. pussy gonna come. If you chase your money, pussy gonna follow. Yeah, yeah. I hope you ain't get married for no pussy. I, know. Yeah, was, I don't know it, nobody who gets married virgin. for no pussy. He was a virgin. Yeah, that was a long term relationship. Yeah. Virgin. Yeah. Yeah. That was the first piece you never had to pay for until you married. Hey, a long term relationship. I know what you and T Ray was doing over the whole time. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. Yeah, right. Yeah, you know, a, a long term relationship, you, you, the, the, the coochie start declining. You don't get that much pussy after a long ass time in a relationship. Well, when you're paying $40 for it, it declines. Like you're married. You know what I'm saying? It's like because they get comfortable. You get what I'm saying? Comfortable. But the minute you, the minute y'all break up and split up, that's when they start going to that's the That's why you have to constantly. That's why you got to constantly have some type of toxicity in yourself. Mm-hmm. You got to do some bullshit to keep the shit in sight because when you just the yes guy, the nice guy all the fucking time, they don't tired of that shit. Yeah. So is it, is, is it safe to say like O dog in your situation, and then like you know other young men that follow your situation is keep leaving bitches. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I didn't know that. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't no doctor, but I got the medicine. You ain't got them genius. Listen, man. You're a genius. Thank you, man. This is what I say. <laughs> hey, I say it like no, this. You know what? Well, I got to put my shit on. Hey, now. Re- 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 you said a motherfucking hey, mouthful. You got to get You got to get, you got to get <laughs> in position to the point where you got to be cool with walking away. My you got to be. But you got to be cool with walking away from a woman because a lot of times the dudes just sit around and let the girl... God damn it, leave Break his heart. Put your heart right. in the microwave. You know what I'm saying? If she, right. When she leave or whatever, a woman going gonna to try to tear you down before she leaves. Right. She's not just going to leave you. Because for some reason, women are so vindictive. Like they like, okay, all the shit he did, I'm going to do something to match it. So they'll try to tear you down in the end. And then when they leave, they like, well. well they cheat. Don't cheat, man. dude, man. That shit hurt hard for me. I don't know why it hurt. It hurts harder. Well, yeah. when the women cheat on you? Oh, man, it hit harder for a man. Hey, hey a man, woman's cheating happens. is a man's beating. Exactly. Yeah. You hitting your you you never supposed to hit your woman and she she's never supposed she, to cheat. Man, on that you. shit hit too hard. Even if you cheat on her. But I'm be honest, my situation was we just were like oil and water. All women cheat. We're all in water. We were just like we just would never you know. Ain't no such thing as a faithful woman. It's like <laughs> I don't believe in that bullshit. Words of Kevin Samuel. All women cheat. And words of Kevin Samuel. You, right. you can't watch a forty eight hours a day. Black men don't cheat. Black men don't cheat. It's only twenty four. Black men don't cheat. Black men never cheated. That's right. And I stand on that. I brought you back, Cognac Boy Podcast. I, I feel like slit smoke like a bull. But I feel Bullshit. like if she ain't gonna give it up, then you should be able Look, to go get it from someone. At the end of the day, I need two things from a woman. I need peace of mind and a piece of that pussy. Now, if you start slacking on when both of those shits, you know that's what we got a problem. Two, I need that peace. I need that piece. You need two pieces. Two pieces. Right. Uh, pieces. But you did it right. <laughs> you did it right. So you Shit. took 12 years, this girl a 12 was a year bit. break? No, no. I mean, you told me. I was about to say she. No, no, no. Was she in support of your comedy career? Oh, yeah. yeah no, she came to the show and booed him. No, no, hey. that's not true. That's what I'm saying. Don't listen to this nigga. Look, she actually, I remember one time, I was, a, uh, it was a while back when we first started dating, I was at Old National. Yeah. <laughs> I was getting booed, and she stood up wanting to fight the whole crowd. Uh, and she was a ride down motherfucker. She was a ride down motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? That's a keeper for as long as you need her. Dang. It was a power show. It was a power show. Hold on, man. This dude, let me answer. Yeah, come on. Oh, God. It was a power. Oh, man. What's up, man? Hold on. Was it the 12 good years, though? No. Not all the time. All right, we're here. I would say the first four or five were good. Then it got good again, then it went bad again. So it was was up and down. The relationship was hot and cold. Yeah. And that's what I can't do. I can't do this hot and cold shit. We good, not we bad. We good, we bad. We good. Nah, man, fuck all that. So you left her. Give me what happened. They, no, they, they mildly split because uh, I remember old dog brought the house and he was like, I'll be goddamn. In my house, I called him one day. Right? I'll be goddamn. If I take my, my name off this mortgage, you get your ass out. You can take these kids, too. They ain't never did shit, but you be out of house and home. I was like, hello, old dog. No, I got you. Hold on, bro. No, you hear me? Do you hear me? <laughs> get your ass out. Tell you eating all the rabbit food. <laughs> well, I can tell you this. If anybody think about getting married, don't do it. Hey. It will, <laughs> hey, everybody must try to tell you once. No. Hey, I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this because D'Amico told me this. He was talking about this old lady cheated on him. Go ahead. Nah, he told me this. I ain't talking about his old lady. He was saying that his daughter was married and shit like that. And he was like, even though that's his daughter, he's still looking like, damn, what dude get out of it? Because if if he if she leave if she leave him, 
she get everything. If if vice versa, he gets nothing. You get what I'm saying? What is it in, in it for him? You know what I'm saying? That's why I, be I can to say for me in my situation, I didn't have to do that. My my yeah. ex, we we ended it real soon. He was in the military. It wasn't all the you know the fight the no pay- fight on this. Y'all did the paperwork. We did the paperwork out of court. We had no attorneys. We were just some mutual shit that we just that's stopped. Good. That's good. That's good. She gave you your piece. I said, and I already told her at, at, at the end. And at the end, I told her about the kids. I said, this way I can pay every month. And since we've been able to voice on my year, I don't pay that shit every month. Ain't no courts involved. I don't need no courts involved to take care of my kids. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I tried to tell my baby. Of course, one there when, when you was goddamn shooting the club up. Hell, damn. But <laughs> oh, they <laughs> did knock on the door. Quiet down in there. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Don't bring them. Don't bring them folks in this shit. Yeah, leave them alone. I don't. I don't want. I ain't want no other. We can handle this shit. This, this, this. She That's know me. That's she know me. She know that. So I y'all was friends before lovers. Yeah, did, we were cool. And did it without rubbers. Exactly. <laughs> friends before lovers. No pull out without rubbers. All ski ski. Goddamn. All ski ski ski. Now we all. Hey, why, but why is it? Why the pussy hit harder when you ski in it? Why is that? Why is it like? I don't know. What is it about this? That make it make the pussy. Oh, uh, you just it. really yeah. lost a part of your soul. Uh, I don't know. Is it embedded energy into that motherfucker? Is it? Is it? Is your spirit is going in? What is yeah, it? It's like you're losing a party. <laughs> hey, it be like the pussy be like crack cocaine with the motherfucker. When you talk to a Jay and shit, and he talking about, I'm still trying to find that first high. <laughs> <laughs> that first one. Like, you will never find that. You will never get when that first night. When you first, first, first get some pussy, that be that be. Ah! That first strange, that but, first one. But after a while, it's just like, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. You're trying to get that first one. Are you trying to impress me? Oh, right, right. right. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So I guess the question is, how do you keep this segment going on? Is that even possible? Hey, slap yeah. in your mouth. Yeah, get Let's a new bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, look what I bought. Get that bitch out of my house. Hey, 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 this for us. Get that that's bitch out of my house. That's when the excitement started again. This is yeah, fire. This is fire. Hey, I found a unicorn, man. I found a unicorn. <laughs> hey, baby, 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 she fine just like we talked about. Right, right. And she like you. She right. like your picture on Instagram. You said that she look like this. Ba- hey, baby, now. Baby, what you doing with that gun? <laughs> <laughs> baby, Wait a minute. Know. Let's talk. <laughs> Let's start all over. Hell no. You know, you, know, you always hear that in a relationship. Let's start all over. Hell you bring, no. you bring the chick home like a stray dog. <laughs> like, but a lot, old, the, a lot of them old, a lot of them old love songs. On the a lot of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, baby, I think we can we can clean it up. Hey, a lot of them old songs talk about that though. Mm-hmm. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talk about what? Cheating in the next room. She got that. Yeah, yeah. Got to walk away from love. David Ruffin. Um, you know what I'm saying? What was the other tune? Uh, man, people just oh, grind. The nigga that got man, his heart broke. The, the, um, Alexander Saturday. O'Neal. Yeah, yeah. But you talk about the, the one that got his heart broke. Uh, oh, Lenny Williams. Oh, oh, yeah. Ah, yeah. Ah, oh, yeah. Ah, ah, you know, I drove past your house. Lenny. Yeah, that shit. <laughs> that nigga was stalking. I drove past your house. And, uh, and I watched hey. TV until TV went off. Hey, we've like, we all been up before, man. When you like, yeah. man, let me see this bitch at the crib. Hey, because that means you're cheating with a nigga that got his own place. When you ride past her house and you don't see the car there. And you come back around again, and the car ain't there. And you come the next day, and the car still ain't what? there. But you I, know what I, I can't wait on? I can't wait, because you know how, how chicks is. Can't wait till that nigga do her ass dirty. And she be like, so, hey, big ass. How you been? Bitch, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Big ass gonna do it dirty. <laughs> hey, you left your shit over here. Yeah. You I left had, your eyelashes. So, so now that nigga don't so, like you like that. So dirty now, ass no, bra. I'm back out here in the, in the world. In the you back out in these streets? Where I'm at these streets. And I got a bitch that told me. She told me she had some. Good pussy, like her pussy was great. I told you, her, I don't fuck with her. Who? I don't fuck with good pussy. You got good pussy, I don't want it. Yeah, yeah. I don't want no good. Smart pussy. man to walk away. Yeah, just give me all. I need your pussy to be all right, cause yeah. I don't need good, yeah. great pussy in my life. I don't yeah. need that. See, I, I possess a talent where I can dive with some good ass pussy and walk away. That's how I walk away fast. Oh, man, you a great guy. You got mine. But see, yeah. the thing is, you gotta hit the good pussy one time. You can't and run. Yeah. You yeah. can't hit the good pussy all the well, time. Well, that's the whole yeah. people. Yeah. Niggas that's, be trying to be greedy. Ah, 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 I do it. It sound good, but I. <laughs> in theory. Yeah. I got this. I got this. It sound good in theory. Two people enter, one person leave. <laughs> <laughs> Off with your head. Uh, you know, I got control issues. I don't like nothing controlling me. So, 
Many men have fell especially to at even age. leave hey, the especially at this age. crevices no of the grass of a woman with a good snana cavity. Yeah. No, sir. When Many I'm have listen, fell. Listen, even if, even if I'm saying all kind of crazy ass shit like, oh, girl, got, ew, I love this place, whatever. Once I bust a nut, I come back to my natural self. Yeah, most of us do. Yeah. Yeah. I wallet be empty as shit, too. They get mad if you don't want to hold that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. You say, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. You got it. Hey, we're going back to take. Let's get this nigga. Look, first of all, he was saying, yeah, about the other. I was talking about saying, yeah, about the other shit, but bitch ain't taking it. What the hell? She ain't got to take it. Well, you got to think about it. You got to go dry. You got to think at the end of the day, if you dating, you take them out on movies and speak. You spending money. Look here, we're not going to do that. We're spending money. We're not going to do that. Oh, God. Hey. And all that shit. Hey. Y'all both. See, I'm not getting a trail of these. I can't. Yeah, ATM. I need to win money come out. <laughs> look, look, now, now if you came and said, here's the cash, and she said, here's the ass, that's paying for it. That's but if you, like, it's if you want you know, some company, like shit, baby, that's You said, what if it's the rent money? The rent. It was like y'all live together, see? <laughs> rent money, I posted shit. Man, Fuck all that. Ain't no coochie worth that money. The rent money? Hell, Hell no. no. Oh, you had a mortgage, you, you know, ain't had no rent. You, you know, know there's some chicks that be charging these niggas thousands, and they be paying it? Some dudes love to, I mean, blow their money like that. Well, here's the thing. I, 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 I don't even say it like that, Fred. I would say that most guys just don't want the commitment shit. They just want the pussy. Oh, you're paying her to leave. I agree yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah, you just leave. paying just look, but you here to fuck. You ain't got to listen to her problem. We ain't got your problem with all that shit. You, yeah. Actually, I'm number two. You need to go to your number one I, and that, talk to that thing about this shit. You can tell me all the bullshit. Yeah. I don't want to hear none of that. Just A lot of guys just don't want the house. They just want to yeah. pay the money. You know, and be done with it. Yeah, you'd be better than the food guy. Like, the like, food guy really getting played. He don't even right. get no pussy like and that. And look, and look, and, and, and I just, you know, he don't really want to be around for that shit. Yeah. He don't want a relationship. He just want to fuck and read. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong you know with that. that, that really and that's real shit too. That hurt their feelings when a nigga fuck and then right. putting on his clothes, walking backwards. And she be like, yeah, cause he, we had a good time. He's like, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. all right, bitch. Then she be talking. Put money on the door, nightstand. Then you hear the door close. <laughs> and she just like, Psh. Right. Shit, this nigga just left. But the sad thing, that ain't sad, but the real thing about that, women respect and love that shit. That you a Give man that's like want. that. Yeah. That you, that they know what, that you a nigga that know what he wants. And see, the key to all this shit is that I learned. I read this book, and I suggest this all for my fellas out there. Get this book by Robert, Robert Glover. It's an audio book. It's called No More Mr. Nice Guy. Read that or listen to that fucking book. It's going to change your goddamn life. Because What's a lot that? of... No More Mr. No nice more guy. Mr. Nice Guy. And what he talks about is how the problem with most men today is that we are always trying to do for the woman, but not do for yourself. Nigga, you come first. You damn right. You come first. Stop putting yourself... And everybody up before you put you first, and then all the motherfucking shit, everything in life will be good. Let me tell you something. I stopped being a loser once I put myself first. There you go. Yeah. Put you first. Yeah, I'm telling you. I used to put women before everything. You hear me? I didn't even start my day till I made sure the woman was straight. Yeah. You hear me? That's why I was late to work. Nice I got guy. fired. You used to be a nice oh, guy. Oh, fuck that nice guy shit. Yeah. That shit had me finishing last and my old lady was getting fucked by another nigga. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think the janitor. Who the nigga that come to your house when you ain't on maintenance? Plumber. Yeah, I heard Meat keys man. jingling all the goddamn Meat time. Meat man. I heard keys in the closet. <laughs> <laughs> keys jingling in my closet. I thought he was in the next apartment. That nigga was in my house. That girl was getting fucked by a nigga who never take off his work uniform. Never take it off. <laughs> no wonder she that, smelled that, like rusty. His, his, pant, his pants always at his ankles. Yeah. He, he, that nigga, come, that nigga, bam, that right nigga got one move. <laughs> bam. Now, <laughs> 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 I love how the fuck you get about that shit. The nigga, about the meat man. Yeah, the nigga got that goddamn powerful zipper. You gotta hear it. Zip. <laughs> I'll be YKK back. on my zipper. <laughs> I'll be back Thursday. Now, I can tell you, I mean, I'm afraid of. I don't, I don't had this. Uh, he done had some powerful relationship situations that. I oh, you can talk about it. Right? This is what the podcast for. I had to say this nigga one night. He was there with my first domestic violence situation. She hit me too many times. And he just had to stop her. So I grabbed. Yeah, I him. picked her up. Some shit I saw on wrestling by her throat and made her taste concrete. I grabbed him, right? I said, nigga, let's go. We was his old underground. Grab him. We going to Scandinavia. And I had that big ass new chain on. He said, oh, take me. I need to get my shit. Oh, get me. I need to get back. So we went down. So we ended up scrambling. I got a, what was on about? Like the 12th floor or some shit? I don't know. I I had a car running, nigga. Yeah, I (laughs) I'm gone. I had a car running. But yeah, she was uh, she was a wild one. I can say that. She, she described all my brand new uh, ball caps. I had a wall full of ball caps. I could only grab the ones I could because I had to get out of there. And I could only grab, I couldn't grab all the Tim's. I had every color Tim, all that Nike and shit. Hey, I could only Fred, grab what I could. 
Mr. Yeah, I came back, all that shit think, was in the bathtub with bleach on it. Do you think that you enjoy these situations deep down inside? No, it's a part question. of my past. It's a part of my past. Because right now I'd be locked up if I was still indulging in that bullshit. Those are women that was misguided and undecided. I couldn't save them. Women like to be saved. Mm. You know what I mean? I couldn't save. If you could save a part of her, helping her with her financial and making her stability, but you couldn't save her mental because she was still that way. Either way, you're going to get drugged down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's her way or the highway. I, with those yeah. type of women. Not even that issue. But I, yeah, I, yeah. But I had a father. Yeah, no, no, no. Let me tell you what I blame though, because even if a woman got a father, she still looks down on you. The problem is that our women look down on us. They think that we're the peasants and they the queen. It's called the queen syndrome. So, mm-hmm. it, listen, a crackhead woman. You go outside right now. A crackhead woman in the alley sucking dick is considered a queen, no matter what. If you do something to that crackhead woman. They're going to look at it like she's a, a queen, whatever. You, you know what I'm saying? She gets the woman benefits, period. Hold on. The, the crackhead dude is a fucking bunk-ass crackhead, and he ain't even a man. Hey, he she don't take care. Bro, listen here. You miss a car payment, man. They look at you like you ain't a man. I, I don't care what nobody tell me. Everybody ain't no king, and everybody ain't no goddamn queen. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Listen, because if everybody's a king, and everybody's a fucking queen, what a fucking servants? Kings ain't serving kings. Queens Respect. ain't serving queen. Somebody got to be a fucking servant. Somebody got to be a servant, again. a peasant. I mean, let's, 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 How many? It's like we're just, we just fooling ourselves. All right. We're just fooling ourselves thinking yeah. that we all, you're all kings. Man, yeah. I, I, man I don't know. I'm a god. Say, like, fuck that. I'm a god too. I told a lady that she was like, get your Thank god you. ass. She said, get your god ass out my house. Uh, <laughs> you ain't no god to me. You unholy bastard. I, was, I never heard so much I mean, blasphemy yeah. in my life. Hey, but they read the Bible to get it. It says and it. I guess. I, hey, I just and saw I a video about that. We read the Bible. Hey, they was you, talking about that. How people come at you. The devil sending minions at you. The devil to is bring you it up. down to get you off your path. No, I'm talking. No, I'm telling you. You are both God and the devil. You are negative and positive, positive energy. That's what you are. You, you are positive negative. God and the devil would not exist if it wasn't for you. <coughs> not saying that they don't exist, but if you say they exist, they exist because you are the, you are a God. Spirit is God. You can do whatever you want. There's some evil women day, out here. At, at the end of the day, you want a, you want a, you want a woman who's either this. You got to find out: Are you a woman that's a half glass full or half glass empty? Mm-hmm. You get a woman that's half glass empty all the time. You have a miserable fucking life because yeah. she's negative. She don't ever think of the positive things. I can tell a woman negative by a conversation. After the liquor kick in and we still talking. It comes out. I don't don't like a woman that judge every woman that walk through the door of the club. You already know. She's competing. Negative. No, what she's trying to do is she's trying to put herself above them. Mm -hmm. She's competing. Because you you the person who she's trying to make sure she anything you want to fuck, everything walking. So, yeah, look at her shoes. Her shoes ugly. Oh, look at her cat muscle. Right. This, that, this, that. She's trying to throw out all her flaws and stuff to be like, look, mine's ain't like that. You get what I'm saying? You want your attention. That's, that's, that's a very uh-huh. immature, childish so, thing to do as well. So we got we got to wrap this podcast. We've been in here uh, production. Oh, we want to give okay. the people some wise words from each one of in the, in the, in the, in the uh, nah, text me. Huh. All the men of the, 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 the board today, I want you to give your positive feedback. Uh, for today's topics and situations that we were talking about. And Ron, you give yours, but you got to keep it short. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and then I'll give mine, and I'll sum it all up. I saw this on a TV show. Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, Hold off. First, I'll sum it up. Y'all, give his brother T.I. some slack. He doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? He already established it is what it is. As far as women and relationships, fellas, I can end by saying this. Put yourself first. All right? You first. All right? Once you love yourself, put yourself first, everybody's going to fuck with you. And uh, all I got to say is, um, <laughs> smoke weed every day. <laughs> <laughs> and love yourself like Brother O'Dog said. Oh, gosh. Love you, God. Yeah, 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 man. And here's my conclusion. Man, man. don't be afraid of this human uh, experience that you own, man. Live your life. And stop trying to let these folks put you in a box. Because at the end of the day, you're going to leave in a box. Nice. And I want to say on behalf of the Kanye Boys Podcast, love who you love, fuck who you want to fuck, drug and leave them where the fuck they at. If you don't like them, they're going your future with your positive passion and desires to go be successful. You leave that whole where she at. And stop eating everybody's ass, niggas. Please.
At the least. Especially on the first date. Take that off the menu. On the first date. At least know who was at least know mama name. And, 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 and stop eating ass on the empty stomach. Because what? it is. That happened to you, Ron? No. Please indulge. <laughs> Please indulge, right? It's fine, when, sir. When you eat ass on, when you eat ass, when you eat ass on the empty stomach, your, your stomach acid got the digest ass juice. It ain't, a, it ain't a pleasant situation. Right. So then you gonna take and that's a wrap. Go to commercial. Shit with ass juice. Cut. Go to ass juice. Cut. Uh, this guy's eating ass on the empty stomach. 